Leo Cullen here in uh, sunny Johannesburg and obviously a busy match day ahead but uh, before we get to that, uh, great excitement this morning and the announcement that Jack will be uh, joining Leicester Rugby after the Rugby World Cup. Yeah, no, we're, we're delighted. Um, I've been back and forth with Jack over the last few weeks. Um, he's someone that has unbelievable experience at the top ends of the game. Uh, World Cup winner with South Africa um, and will be leading South Africa into this current World Cup as well. Um, and he's got experience of Ireland already so there's lots of really positive parts to that. Um, you know, so... You know, Stuart Lancaster came into Leinster seven years ago and has been unbelievable support to me. Um, so to have someone of Jack's calibre come in to replace Stuart, I think it's fantastic uh, to work alongside the group of coaches that we already have. Uh, so Rob McBride, someone who's so much experience as well, coming in from Wales when he did, uh, which was post the last World Cup, if you remember. Um, Andrew Goodman, who joined us uh, at the start of this season. So Andrew, again, former Leinster player, so much experience with the Crusaders in recent years and with Tasman as well. So um, And he's a huge future in the game, we believe. Um, and you know, we've other coaches there. So Emma Farrell was, works with kicking and skills with the backs in particular. Uh, and Sean O'Brien has come into that role as contact skills. So we're excited about the group that we have moving forward next season. Um, obviously, at the moment, we're very much focused on a game against the Lions today. Um, but yeah, no, hugely exciting day for Leinster Rugby. Um, and we hope that Jack will be a great addition to the group. You mentioned uh, the calibre that Jack brings to the table, Leo. Uh, what in particular attracted you to him and the skill set, I suppose, that he brings uh, to this coaching setup? Well, with the addition of the South African teams to our league and the fact that they're in Champions Cup as well, you know, like we're travelling here, there's so many different nuances that you need to get right in right, terms of the, your match preparation. So what Jack will bring to the table is, is fantastic for the group. Um, yeah, like defensively, I think, is, is probably his key uh, strength. You know, like I've... You know, looking up Jack over the last number of weeks and months, like it's he's would be classified as defensive guru, really. So in terms of what he's going to bring to us as, as a group, I think that'll be key moving forward. So, um, and it's a different voice, yeah. It's usually experienced voice, different voice. Um, and I'm always keen to learn from some of the best people out there. So, and Jack definitely falls into that category. So, yep, yeah, usually excited. Um, but it's as I said, it's. There's so much to happen between now and when Jack does arrive and you know, his attention will turn, rightly so, to South Africa and doing whatever he can. And you know, Obviously they're pitted with Ireland in the World Cup pools as well, so lots of different dynamics to, that will unfold. So for now I think it's just you know, both groups or both parties will just deliver on what they want to do for their respective groups at this moment in time. So, um, and then post-World Cup then we'll, we'll be excited to welcome Jack into our group. And just finally, Leo, as I mentioned earlier, there is the slight matter of a game in Ellis Park today against the Lions. Uh, we're here now in Johannesburg the last couple of days. How's it been? Obviously, a visit to the stadium yesterday for the lads for the captain's run, but how's it been in general in terms of travel and getting used to it and, I suppose, building towards the game uh, later today at 3 o'clock Irish time? Uh, well, the group travel well, yeah, so that's, that's the first and foremost. Um, there's always potential for a few complications along the way, but it would relatively uh, smooth sailing for us, so... Um, yeah, no, the group are excited. You know, we we have a good mix in terms of the team, and um, some very experienced guys, some younger guys coming in, and to the team. Um, being at Ellis Park yesterday, like it's amazing. My first ever time there. I've seen so many games over the years there. Uh, such an iconic stadium. Think of some of the games and events that have taken place there. Um, so yeah, no, we're we're excited by today. Really excited by today. So uh, hopefully, you guys can give a good account of themselves. They trained well this week. You know, even over the last couple of weeks, because some of them have known this is an opportunity for them um, and yeah looking forward to how they go